Hello friends and welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey, the Cowboys 2020 coaching staff. It's pretty much set minus a couple of non-vision coach assistants and you know, strength and some other various roles yet to be filled. So let's take a full look and grade the Cowboys coaching staff before we dive into the new ones. As a reminder, here's what it was last year. Jason Garrett was your head coach, Kellen Moore the OC, Rashard Manley had big roles on the defensive side of the football. Keith O'Quinn was your special teams coach. On offense, you had John Kitna, Gary Brown, Sanjay Law, Doug Nussmeyer, and Mark Colombo. Then on defense and some other assistant coaches, you had Leon Lett, Ben Bloom, Greg Jackson, Adam Kleffner, and Ken Amato as well. So that was your 2019 staff. Very different in 2020, of course, Mike McCarthy. He comes in. He is the new head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Kellen Moore actually stays in his same role and will call the plays as OC. Mike Nolan comes in a veteran of the NFL as the new defensive coordinator. John Fossil is now your special teams coach. More on all those guys coming up. There are upgrades across the board. Doug Nussmeyer goes from the tight ends coach to the quarterbacks coach. Skip Pete returns to Dallas after, a, after departing in 2012 as the RB coach. Adam Henry is the new receivers coach. Lundo Wells comes over from the Giants as the tight ends coach. Joe Philbin, the former NFL head coach and longtime McCarthy assistant, he's the O-line coach. Jim Tom Sula, another former NFL head coach, he's the defensive line coach. Scott McClurley comes in, or McClurley comes in as linebackers coach. Maurice Linguist, Al Harris, though, coach defensive backs. Jeff Blasco, one of the assistant offensive line coach. There are still some spots left to be filled, but one thing's very clear. This is Mike McCarthy's staff. This is not Jerry Jones saying, hey, Mike, what if you guys come in and, and keep these all these assistant offensive coaches? He's kept two, not very many of them. And he clearly valued experience on his coaching staff. Now, he's going to have some input in free agency and the draft and on offense. But make no mistake, the Cowboys are hoping that McCarthy has changed. And as we'll dive into more in depth, Giving up some of the giving up the play calling duties to Kellen Moore, I think, is a sign that's changed. I am surprised by it. I am curious to see how it turns out, but it was a change there. Now McCarthy ran a West Coast offense and has run it throughout his NFL career. Here were some of Bill Walsh's principles: run successfully as opposed to just running it often. Utilize pre-snap motion, play action pass, throw it on early downs. Those are tenants that were actually very familiar and very you know, present in the Kellen Moore Cowboys offense. So we'll see what happens on that one, but there will be kind of a hybrid there, I think. Now, before we dive into the assistants, I want you guys to grade the Cowboys coaching staff. I'll break down who these coaches are, offer the insight that I can, but you, you guys know the names. Grade it right now, A, B, C, D, or F. I will make this the pinned comment on the video. So if you're watching on YouTube and you get an ad break here, scroll on down to the pinned comment and cast your votes right there. We begin on offense, and we'll go through some of the big coaches, then go back to offense and defense. Kellen Moore, he is going to be the play caller again in 2020. Mike McCarthy, clearly very impressed by Kellen Moore, said he was going to pursue Kellen Moore no matter where he went this offseason, which I find fascinating. The biggest reason why Moore will call the plays, and the biggest note here, the terminology is going to stay the same. The plays will probably be adjusted, different types of formations and play calls, but terminology staying the same, that makes it easier on Dak Prescott and the Cowboys offense as they adjust to a new coaching staff while still trying to win right now. And look, Kellen Moore undoubtedly was an upgrade over Scott Linehan. Were there times he got too cute? Yes. Were there games where the offense struggled? Yes, of course. But across the board, the offense that Kellen Moore called was better than Linehan's offense. And Moore, still very young, still learning, and the hope, of course, here is that a Mike McCarthy influence on Kellen Moore will be a much more positive one than a Jason Garrett influence on Kellen Moore. But who do you guys want calling the plays? Type one for McCarthy, two for Kellen Moore. I think it is totally fine for you guys to go against what the Cowboys doing and say you want Mike McCarthy calling the plays. That is understandable. I am curious how this pans out. I want to check back in in November as well because if we're being honest, McCarthy likes calling the plays, hasn't liked giving it up the one time he did before. That is going to be something worth watching in the season. 
Defensively, Mike Nolan, he's next up here. He was the Saints linebackers coach. A long time NFL defensive coordinator, linebacker focused, has called 3-4 defenses, has called 4-3 defenses, has called multiple scheme defenses. And I think the latter will be the case here for the Cowboys. They're going to stick in a 4-D lineman base defense, but you're going to be in nickel most of the time. You're going to be more multiple, and most importantly, the scheme will be different, especially in the secondary and what they ask the defensive tackles to do, and that was needed for this Cowboys team. And Owen recently was the Saints linebackers coach, but look back at his history, Falcons DC, Dolphins DC, Broncos DC, that was even the 49ers head coach from 2008, where Mike McCarthy was for a year before getting the Green Bay Packers head coaching job. Ravens defensive coordinator, Jets DC, a lot of stops, not all that different than most defensive corners. You can look at what Wade Phillips has done around the NFL. They tend to not stick around for an extended period of time. But Nolan coming in is a good addition to the Cowboys' defense. Maybe the biggest of the big three moves in terms of coordinators was special teams. John Fossil comes over from the LA Rams, and it's a major upgrade over Keith O'Quinn and a desperately needed one. Long time NFL special teams coach and viewed around the league as one of the better teams. Now, the past two years, things have regressed a bit. A, they didn't have as much depth as they have had in the past. And they also have some injuries in terms of special teams. So the ranks here for DVOA, yes, 23rd, not that great. Still an upgrade over Dallas. Even if Fossil is the worst he's ever been, which I don't think he's going to be, it's a big time upgrade. He's also had second and third and a pair of sevens in 2015, 2014. A fourth in 2013. The Raiders, by the way, showed growth and were better under John Fossil when he was there before jumping ship to the LA Rams. It's an upgrade for the Dallas Cowboys. I think you'll see a team that finally will be back among around the top half of the NFL and special teams. That's a huge upgrade for the Cowboys, who rank near the bottom in pretty much every category on special teams. Coming up this later this week on the Cowboys Report, we've got free agency and trade targets for you guys. So hit that big red button, subscribe right now. That way you know when these videos come out. we got a whole bunch of free agent names. I like trade ideas as well. So stay tuned for that and make sure you're subscribed here on the Cowboys Report. Position coach time. We'll go a little bit quicker on these. Doug Nussmeyer moves from tight ends coach to quarterbacks coach. And he spent most of his career before being the Cowboys tight end coach as a college offensive coordinator and or the quarterback's coach. He is one of the few coaches who will actually stay on staff under Mike McCarthy. He's been the Florida OC, briefs in as the Michigan OC, and Alabama OC, Washington OC as well. So there is a bit of a connection there with Kellen Moore, via Chris Peterson, I should say. Fresno State, 2008. So, so there are connections there in terms of Kellen Moore's ties and the Cowboys. I'm curious how this one fits out. I think this was a Kellen Moore-driven decision. Skip Pete is back as the Dallas Cowboys running backs coach. His second stint with the Dallas Cowboys was in the same role 2007 to 2012. He also, by the way, coached with Mike McCarthy at Pitt in the early 1990s. Comes over from the LA Rams. He was the RB coach there, was the Bears backs coach. Also, for a long time, Oakland Raiders and even UCLA as well. So Skip Beat comes in, replaces Gary Brown. Nussmar, by the way, I forgot to mention, he replaces John Kitna. Got a special deal for you guys. Head over to chatsports.com slash Cowboys shirts. That's chatsports.com slash Cowboys shirts. All kinds of t-shirts are on sale right now, up to 50% off. That black one is almost out. A whole bunch of other styles and varieties and colors are on sale right now. It's chatsports.com slash Cowboys shirts. Check the description. Check the comments. I've got that link in there for you guys. On to wide receiver. This one not officially announced, but the expectation, like many of them were beforehand, is that Adam Henry will come in and be the new Cowboys wide receivers coach. Was with the Browns this past year. That's a potential red flag because the Browns underachieved. At least their receivers did. There's also plenty of blame to go around in Cleveland. Odo Beckham was banged up again this year. Freddie Kitchens clearly was outmatched as the head coach. There has been better success in the past for Adam Henry. Browns 2018 was a much better unit. Beckham comes in. They should have broken out. Didn't really end up happening. But, again, 
A lot of coaching staff and player blame to go around there. Giants with Odell Beckham. LSU turned out some good receivers under Henry. Niners as well. Also has a background briefly as a tight ends coach with the Oakland Raiders, which brings us to the Cowboys' new tight ends coach. That's Lundo Wells, who was with the New York Giants 2018 to 2019, and before that, actually, was an assistant offensive line coach and even interned with the Cowboys in that area back in 2010. In fact, much of his tenure, at least in the NFL and in college, was as an assistant offensive line coach with LSU, by the way. So again, the connection, although it didn't really overlap with that with Adam Henry, with Les Miles, basically the assistant to Les Miles. So I'm curious how Lunda Wells will fit in. I think Keenan Henry will be the areas to watch in terms of how do the young players grow under those two coaches. Now, I know many of you were upset that some of the coaches were not retained. Mark Colombo, I wouldn't mind bringing him back. Gary Brown, I wanted to keep John Kitna. So this is a safe space to chime in and vent. Which coaches did you want the Cowboys to keep that they did not do this offseason? Let me know in the comments section. We mentioned Mark Colombo. Moved to the offensive line higher by the Dallas Cowboys. That was Joe Philbin. Philbin comes in with a long tenure under Mike McCarthy, the OC from 2007 to 11. Was also an offensive line coach for the Packers, the Colts, and way back when, the Iowa Hawkeyes. One of several with NFL head coaching experience on this staff. McCarthy trusts Philbin. He wanted experience. Philbin comes in. Mark Colombo on his way out. The Cowboys have also tabbed an assistant offensive line coach with McCarthy or with Philbin probably having run game coordinator duties. Blasco, a Packers assistant under McCarthy, a common theme here, was the Browns assistant offensive line coach this past year and is also, by the way, coached at the collegiate level. This one, if we're being honest, nowhere near as impactful as some of the other ones. On to defense now. Jim Tom Sula was a horrible NFL head coach. Make no mistake. But as a position coach, is actually very well regarded in the NFL and highly viewed. He mostly has coached 3-4 defenses in the NFL, but if the Cowboys use more two-gapping defensive tackles as opposed to one-gap penetrators, the end result ends up being the same in a 4-3 scheme. This was one of the best position coach hires by the Cowboys. Go ask Justin Smith what he thinks of Jim Tom Sula. Held that Niners D-line coach job for years and was great at it. Head coach, not so much. And the Redskins, with some new young talent, they showed growth and improved under Tom Sula's tutelage in D.C. Now, are you glad the Cowboys are going to run a 4-3 defense? Type Y for yes or type N for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I, I am I am happy with it. You'll run nickel a lot as long as you change some of the, the responsibilities, which I think the Cowboys are going to do anyway. And it also makes for an easier transition as the Cowboys, once again, are trying to win right now. All right, the assumed linebackers coach here, Scott McClurley, worked for the Green Bay Packers for the entirety of Mike McCarthy's tenure there. He's actually never been a full-time linebackers coach, which has me intrigued by how this hire will end up working. Jim Haslett, another McCarthy guy, was linked to this job and then kind of never really became a thing beyond just speculation and rumors there. Mike Nolan, heavy linebacker background, probably helps with this, but I'm curious. This is the most, uh, okay, we'll see how it goes, defensive hire for me. Now, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120 for 120% deposit bonus. You put down 50 bucks, they're going to give you 60 for free. That's chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120. All right, defensive backs here. We'll go over two different coaches. Maurice Linguist comes in. He was the Texas A&M cornerbacks coach, but he's worked with safeties, defensive backs. Overall, only 35 years old, was viewed as an up-and-comer in the college ranks. Now gets to jump back home. He's from the Dallas area. Gets to coach the Dallas Cowboys now. By the way, with Iowa State and with Minnesota, was also said to be the assistant head coach, which is noteworthy, I believe. Good background at the college level with defensive backs, and I will speculate purely, I would love to see Antoine Winfield, the Minnesota guy, get to jump with his own coach. Oh, by the way, Donovan Wilson worked with Maurice Linguist as well. Now, you probably haven't heard of most of these coaches. That's totally fine. Very few people have, and it's expected. 
You've probably heard of Al Harris, though. That is the former Green Bay Packers cornerback, the, the king of that Packers-Seahawks playoff game way back when. Was the assistant DB coach for the Chiefs from 2013 to 2018. Now gets to play for his former head coach in Mike McCarthy, former defensive assistant this past year. He's going to be the assistant defensive backs coach. I would bet that if you have to break down the responsibilities, Al Harris works a little bit more with the cornerbacks and linguist a little bit more with the safeties if they do break it up in that manner. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.